In recent court testimony obtained by Six News, the Penn State trustee who headed the committee which hired Louis Free for the Jerry Sandusky child sex abuse scandal investigation admits he didn't want the NCAA and the Big Ten doing its own investigation. In fact, Ken Frazier also says he initially thought the university should have kept Joe Paterno as football coach when the scandal first broke, but then changed his mind. And Gary Sinderson working on this story from our Center County newsroom tonight. Gary? Marty, Penn State trustee Kenneth Frazier was appointed to head a special investigative committee by the trustees in the wake of the Sandusky scandal. That committee in turn decided to hire Lewis Free to do what was termed an independent investigation. Frazier's recent court deposition coming in the now dropped lawsuit between Senator Jay Corman and the NCAA. In 2012, this is Penn State trustee Kenneth Fraser describing to the trustees the objectives of a Lewis Free investigation. How the alleged acts noted in the grand jury report that came to light this past November could have occurred at Penn State, where the breakdowns occurred, who knew what when, and what changes we can make. In his recent court deposition, Fraser still supports the hiring of Free, although he goes on to say, quote, the report contains opinions, conclusions, inferences of the investigation, which I think has been something other than completely objective, the way factual observations are objective, unquote. Fraser says he didn't hear the scandal until the grand jury report was released in November 2011. In that report, Fraser says he also first found out about the Lash building, the football team headquarters on campus. Fraser thought initially Joe Paterno could stay on after the Sandusky arrest, but he did support letting go University President Graham Spanier and then decided Paterno should also go due to the message it would send about university values. Fraser did talk to the trustees early on about the involvement in the NCAA and Big Ten. Judge Free's team also has been cooperating and interfacing with the NCAA and the Big Ten Conference in connection with their respective reviews. Fraser says he preferred one investigation by the Free Group instead of multiple organizations with multiple investigations on campus. He also talks about the NCAA wanting a quick secret decision from Penn State on agreeing to a series of sanctions and avoiding the so-called death penalty for the football program. Fraser saying he wanted to avoid having Beaver Stadium being empty in the fall. Fraser also testified during the time when the NCAA was putting the squeeze on Penn State in July of 2012, right after the free report was released, whether or not the university would accept those sanctions. There was talk among the trustees of filing a lawsuit against the NCAA, but at that time it was decided a lawsuit against the NCAA would be ineffective. Live in Center County, Gary Sanderson, 6 News.